As someone who tends to immerse myself in work and spend most of my time at home on creative projects, I was lucky to have a chance to break away and refresh my visual library with a few days in Spain in this summer. I usually spend my summers working and rarely travel, so being surrounded by colorful houses felt like stepping into a different fairy tale. Immerse in creative drawing and reconnecting with my inner child. So my goal for this trip was simple, gather inspiration for future work, attend an art workshop to learn something new and savor energy moment, drawing, admiring the architecture and soaking in the creative atmosphere. And I would love to take you along with me to Seville and I hope this video inspires you to create something new as well. And so how did we get here? Let me quickly show you. So we tried to combine it, we took a flight to Malaga and then from there we took a train to see a bit of a landscape in the area. So we just came and uh, it's super hot here, <laughs> it's like almost 40 degrees and I'm whoo, so tired and sweaty from the travel but the view here is so nice. I mean, the <laughs> stairs in the apartment are so narrow that we couldn't almost <laughs> get through with the bags. But yeah, I think the, the view is definitely worth it. Oh, and I just noticed the balcony there has a like, full-on garden, so let me show you. <laughs> And let me quickly show you where we are staying. Well, the colors in the living room are super cute. It's a nice color palette. And then this is the bedroom. And it's nice and uh, mustard yellow. I like that. <laughs> All right. And let's go have a quick stroll and look around the neighborhood. Maybe see some shops. And there should be a market. So let's see if it is still open. So everything is closed now, but I think it would be nice to see when they are actually, um, you know, like people <laughs> see what they are selling here. So hopefully to come back here later. Uh, I love all the organic shops which are around here and how the flowers are kind of hanging from the balconies and all the colorful tiles and uh, houses in this neighborhood. It's so inspiring. So we just had a dinner now on the terrace and yeah, you can hear the traffic. Uh, it's not such a loud street. Well, what am I saying now? <laughs> it's quite loud. So, okay, so we are staying in an old town, so when you want to stay in the old town, uh, make sure to check if there is like a big street next to your accommodation or if there is a bar, so you can always check on maps if there is some restaurant or bar under your windows because then it would get very loud now i think it's like 9 30 or it will be 10 and only now it's starting to get like more busy and more loud you can sometimes hear people on the streets like talking loudly and laughing so yeah don't forget to bring your like, earplugs or headphones if you have more light sleep or you're more sensitive to noise but other than that, it's so cool. Like you can see uh, swallows flying uh, in the sky and you can see them like catching flies. And you can also see the green parrots here. Uh, so we saw one just sitting on the antenna on the other house. 
Yeah, so now we'll just uh, go to sleep, I think, or maybe breathe, just basically chill. We are not going out today because after the whole day travel. Yeah, anyway, so I will catch up with you tomorrow. After wandering through Seville lush parks and vibrant streets, I couldn't wait to get my impressions down in my sketchbook or create a sketchbook spread. And you know how sometimes certain things just stick in your mind. Well, for me, this was uh, the amazing view from the rooftop. We very lucked out and got to see. So kind of to see Seville or part of Seville from above and I really like that view and I also love how some of the houses are so colorful and I heard that back in the day they used bright colors to reflect sunlight and keep the houses cooler in their brutal summer heat um, but let me know what you think why they are colorful or basically why they look like that and then I also heard that there is this other interesting idea that the different colors used to signify different neighborhoods or even the occupation of the house owner. So I really don't know if that's true, but I heard it and I found that quite interesting. And um, I also heard another theory that in some coastal towns um, that sailors would use the colors on their houses so they can spot their house from a distance when they are coming back to the harbor. Well, whether that's true or not, <laughs> I really like this tradition uh, of colorful houses, which makes the whole city feel alive. And then there was the other thing which was very inspirational and I wanted to draw which are the swallows because these little birds were everywhere in the evening and in the mornings while they are not like unique to Seville you can find them in many European cities during summer and spring it's still so cool to see them and you can hear them chattering away in the mornings and the evenings kind of like zipping <laughs> through the sky and I guess as many of you know, they migrate here from far away each spring, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. So we discovered this super nice garden. I didn't even know it's here, but we saw a lot of tourists uh, outside. So we were like, okay, what's there? <laughs> so we came to look and uh, there is kind of like this hidden oasis in the city. <laughs> there are so many trees and flowers. I think these are like limits or oranges and all kinds of stuff. So definitely recommend stopping by if you get a chance and time, it's super nice. <laughs> Even though I hadn't planned on visiting these gardens, I am so glad we stumbled upon them during our walk because Palacio de las Dueñas, which is also known as Casa de Alba, was a residence of the Duchess of Alba, one of the Spain's most famous aristocrats. And this place has a history uh, spanning over 500 years and exploring it you will find stunning courtyards, lush gardens and quite interesting rooms with beautiful decorations. 
and the architecture is a beautiful blend of Renaissance, Moorish and Gothic styles with intricate decorative elements that are perfect for sketching and photographing or for your photo reference for future inspiration. Yeah, so much nice art. I didn't expect actually so many nice uh, also landscapes and yeah, lots of inspiration. <laughs> And uh, after also doing my research, I discovered uh, later that Palacio de las Duenas has also impressive art collection with over 1,400 pieces, including sculptures, tapestries, furniture, paintings, and so on. And one of my favorite things in the garden was the photogenic feature of the pink uh, flower cascading uh, down across the facade, which is Bougainvillea. And it's kind of absolute must see uh, in the park, I would say. And I highly recommend visiting if you are nearby. Oh, another inspiration which I definitely wanted to put in my sketchbook was uh, the beautiful, vibrant flower, Bougainvillea, which is hard to pronounce, but <laughs> these flowers are like explosion of color all over the town in parks and climbing up the walls and hanging over from balconies. And they really pop against uh, apparently the traditional architecture of Seville, which is often like featuring whitewashed walls with some colorful accents. So not all the houses are colorful, obviously. And putting all this down in my sketchbook really helped me capture the essence of Seville and it's like buttoning up a bit of that vibrant uh, Spanish look and energy to take home with me. So yeah, I quite like how this sketchbook spread turned out, even though sometimes during the process you are like, hmm, I'm not sure if it is turning out how I want but <laughs> I uh, now quite like how it turned out. All right. And there are so many beautiful places around the world, so why Seville? The main reason is a workshop uh, that I found and I wanted to learn new skills. Plus, traveling to Spain is not that far when you are in Europe. And you can also get the budget flight tickets if you want to, but you can also travel by train, which is great. So that was super nice. I didn't know that there would be this, like a small exhibit or you know artists selling their prints on um, you know the square, but it's right in front of the art museum. So yeah, you never know what you see here. So yeah, that was super nice. We also visited the Navigation Museum with a tower offering fantastic views over the river and Seville, which I think was truly a highlight. And I also really like the light and beautifully done hand-drawn animations with interactive exhibits and also English narration, giving the history of sailing across the Atlantic. Then we decided to walk back to the city. 
And as you know, many people travel to Spain to experience the food culture, so I researched lunch spots and I found a cozy homestyle restaurant in Seville called Casa Salva. And I found the homemade Spanish food delicious and I ordered a coffee with milk, which came with the adorable foam art, and I tried the gluten-free toast with mushrooms and cheese. And also the decorations were lovely, the colorful tiles and old books you could flip through. And if you decide to visit, I would definitely recommend a bit later as there was a quiet, a long queue during the lunchtime. So in this area you have all the tourist attractions, but it's very hot, so actually you can even bring an umbrella uh, if you think about it. And uh, so I think you can buy like tickets in advance, so you don't have to wait in the queue. But anyway, now we are going to walk into um, Jewish Quarter, and then I'll just walk around and I guess maybe get some water because it's very hot. But uh, the brunch or kind of like small lunch with coffee was very refreshing so um, yeah and, and actually the toast was quite tasty so I liked it and the coffee had very cute <laughs> the design on it so yeah I would recommend uh, stopping by there <laughs> And it was very hot these days and I was a little bit apprehensive about the heat during the summer uh, in Spain or in Seville but uh, it wasn't as intense as I expected because you kind of get used to it but did you know that, that Seville is one of the hottest towns in Europe? So we try to stay in shade a lot and also hydrate so if you travel to these type of destinations or it's hot where you live please don't forget to hydrate i often forget so i'm kind of reminding myself and you as well <laughs> Hello, thank you Hi, so. Actually the one with the garden I had marked that I wanted to go there because it looks like a garden <laughs> so it's very nice but it is pretty hot there right now but I think they are putting up some umbrellas so maybe that would be a nice stopover for a coffee if you are in the area. It's 
actually not so hot anymore, but uh, we chose still some side streets to walk back to our accommodation because first of all there is more shade and also less people, <laughs> I mean less crowds <laughs> to go through. So yeah, overall uh, you can plan your trip depending what you want to see, if you want to see gardens or more some of these touristic attractions of uh, churches and cathedrals and all of that there is plenty to see but if you have limited time just maybe decide what you want to see before you go and uh, like we visited some gardens because that's what i like to see the most when i'm um, in places like this so yeah now off to the accommodation <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back in the shade because it was so hot so <laughs> I feel quite overcooked now here there is a little bit of breeze and I don't think I mentioned it uh, in the vlog yet that we are staying in Altama and the neighborhood is quite nice it's not close to the touristic attractions I mean it's like I think half hour walk so I quite liked it because I think it's more affordable depending when you are booking compared to the kind of center and accommodations next to the main touristic attractions and today as I mentioned it was so hot so make sure if you are going kind of in spring or summer that your accommodation have AC because otherwise you would be <laughs> boiling and in this area you have a lot of bars and restaurants which is great because you have many options to go and eat out but you don't want to have them probably just under your window <laughs> anyway I don't want to ramble too much we will just go and cook some dinner probably today and then tomorrow early morning we are off and we are going back home so that's it i hope that you enjoyed this video so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye